Yeah, so uh, here I'm going to be playing spades at the moment. Uh, this one will be first to 400. We'll see what we can actually do. <laughs> Alright, thanks for popping in. Alright, uh, ooh, uh, this looks like a nil. Um, my hearts are a bit dubious there, I don't have any low ones, like those are four high ones, I could get stuck with that. Uh, four diamonds to the ace, not too worried about that, uh, I should be able to get under that and I've got low ones. It's really these hearts that are the main issue here. I might just whew, jump across there. All right, so we've got three, zero, six. Oh no, okay. My partner bidding one. It's always dangerous going ahead of them where, um, yeah, uh, like I always like having um, my partner bid big in front of me. Okay, we've dodged one heart and two of the hearts are lower than. This game you don't know, spades is awesome. It's uh. Uh, so there's still a king of hearts out, and there's one heart else. Yeah, all right, so my hearts are good. So spades is like a simpler version of bridge. Spades are always trumps. You have to guess how much, how many tricks you're actually going to take. Um, and you work in partnerships, so... Um, uh, I've gone zero, which means I personally have to take zero tricks, but usually like if you look at the opponents, uh, this one's gone six and they've gone three. If they get nine tricks together, uh, they've got their, um, their points. And here my partner needed one trick. As long as they got one trick, they, they get their points. Uh, basically you get 10 times whatever you bid for. Um, and if you go for zero, uh, you get a hundred points or minus a hundred points. Uh, if you get extra tricks, they're called bags. They're a bit dangerous. Um, uh, what you, you, they're, they're not that dangerous. I didn't mean that, but, uh, you can get as many bags as you want. Um, but once you get to 10, you lose a hundred points. So over multiple hands, if you lose uh, 10 bags, then uh, you're in some danger. But until then we're fine. So we got one bag and we got our nil. So we're on 110. And they got their nine tricks and two extra tricks for two bags. Um, but once like bags are good for tiebreakers, but until then, um, they're not. Um, anyway, I, I really like overbidding in this hand, uh, this game. So, um, I three is like by far my most common thing that I venture for. Uh, you, uh, so I couldn't bid zero cause I had the ace of spades. That is a trick that can win. Um, if you, if you've got a guaranteed trick, it doesn't let you go zero. So you can't purposely throw, um, but usually, uh, you can, uh, so me to bat, uh, so we're going for seven tricks and they're going for four. So we're two tricks under what you'll notice is most people underbid in this game. And that's because, uh, if you don't get your tricks, so we're going for seven tricks combined. We'll get 70 points if we get it. If we don't get seven tricks, we lose 70 points. Whereas the bags are sort of like this safety net, but you're really just giving up on that chance to get 10 points immediately. And ultimately you lose a hundred points if the game goes long enough. Um, so uh, I like being aggressive. I, I want those uh, tricks where possible. But once you collect your tricks, you then try and avoid getting too many, unless you think you can break the opponents. Spades can't be led until someone breaks spades there. So that's why it said spades broken there. Okay, so I got one. Uh, I've probably got the ace jack of spades coming. All right, my partner's trying to abandon some tricks here. So I should probably trust them. 
Uh, so yeah, Twitch lumps spades, hearts and euchre in the same category, but there is a individual spades category as well. Um, what happened on that last one? I want the queen. All right. Yeah, they can keep having some winners. So here, like my partner's gone out of their way to try and make it so that they weren't getting tricks. So I'm going to trust them that they have. Uh, okay, so I've just got my two spades left at this stage. Um, so they stack of the two highest. So we'll just duck that. They've collected the extra tricks and we get our 70 points. And we've sort of pushed them uh, along the way to, uh, to reaching their 10 bags as it accumulates. But yeah, spades is an awesome game. Recommend uh, you give it a shot. Uh, if you're interested in it and we're up to 180 so also by the aggressive bidding we're just getting this incremental advantage as we go as well and we'll push the opponents into some uh really aggressive bidding later so whereas if they don't do it we can just sort of cruise to victory um at the end so also if your aggressive bidding fails early on you've got more time to try and recover from it so i think it's a really valuable sort of strategy to uh, go for three two there's also an option called blind nil where you don't look at your hand and you guess zero tricks um, and you get 200 or minus 200 sort of like a hail mary sort of play that you can do if needed um, but uh, there's five tricks bid for so far, so you know maybe I can go eight, but I clearly can't. So two, four, five, six. I'm gonna go six. Uh, yeah, mostly in fourth seat. Other times when it's just like make or break for your contract or not. But yeah, fourth seat. If like everyone, if everyone's tricks are counted for, then yeah, you can give that a shot. Um, so try winning. Let's just, I really want some like low cards I can duck at people. Maybe I can continue a club here. Uh, this bet, when someone's gone nil and you play like an ace, you really want to see what cards they pitch. And they threw a nine of hearts away. So there's absolutely nothing that they're worried about there. Um, okay, so this person uh, has one more club. Uh, I need to collect my tricks um, and this uh, lefty doesn't know lefty doesn't know whether that this person's club's low or not so they probably have to trump in again um, and I'm shortening their trumps trying to create a trump trick for my right hand opponent at the end so it was the two of clubs it was completely safe um, and now my partner can play another heart. And if I see a low heart go, I'll just trump it again and then just go ace, king of diamonds. Okay, so we'll just go ace of diamonds, king of diamonds, and then I'll have my tricks. And we're just gonna hopefully end up with uh, this person having a trump trick at the end. So we've got enough tricks. Uh, let's now just lead spades and condense all the spades so no more cross roughing happens and hopefully this person has three uh, spades left. Okay and uh, I think that maybe I can make them rough a diamond here. Also worth noting this person needs the last two tricks to I make their contract and their partner roughed it beautiful so uh even though their side got three tricks that one over there didn't count um and also this person didn't manage to get their three tricks so they lost 130 our game plan of creating that trump trick for that person going nil worked perfectly and now we're on 260 and uh we've got comfortable like um like that that was a pretty good nil by them it was just super awkward by uh the other people um if i can go nil uh we'll get to 400 if uh yeah uh, i can't go nil here um i also don't want this person to go uh blind nil 
Um, I'll just go three. I can easily go more than three on this hand, uh, but I really don't, I think they have a decent chance of getting a nil here. And I want to make it not bid so high that they try the blind nil. Okay, they went three. So every trick's accounted for. You have spare bags. Yeah, we, we've got so many, like I'm not too worried about over tricks. I just want to limit their ability to uh, try and come back in this. But there are a lot of tricks bid for, and I've got a lot of high card points. So there'll be a shape on this one. Um, so I just want to draw trumps when I get in. Alright, uh, I'll try taking a finesse. Nope. Okay, my partner won. Come on, spades. All right, uh, let's get in there and uh, maybe I should lead the king of hearts here. Let them discard a diamond. It's the ten of hearts. All right, I think that person's out of hearts. I've changed my mind. This person played their heart. Ooh, they false carded me. Wow. All right. Anyway, uh, they both stood up. Um, all right. Maybe my partner has shortened their diamonds enough to actually rough. I think they probably got one more. Yeah, yeah, I should have trusted my gut and uh, drawn trumps. Can't believe I changed my mind. <laughs> Be a card potential. Uh, but yeah, this is a spot where every trick's accounted for. So if we can just get one extra trick, and like we're in danger of not getting our tricks, but if we can get one extra trick, we would definitely want it in this spot because you would break the opponents. Phew. All right, so we made it and kept closing up our lead. Just need another seven and we've closed out the game and the opponents aren't in danger here. We can... If we can get seven, we want to go for it. Um, yeah. It's kind of good with the positioning of the spades that I didn't lead trumps. I would have finessed my partner. I don't think it would have mattered, but... Um... Okay. Uh, I could try a nil. That jack of spades has me nervous. Um, I'll just go two. Again, I just really hate going one. <laughs> like I don't have two tricks, but you'll see two tricks appear. Um, and I think I've got two rounds to get this. So if we just go like two and three and then try and close it out. Yeah, can't bid 13 because I don't have the ace of spades. Okay, so notice here I overbid my hand and we're still one under. Um, so people are pretty cautious in this game. And if it's ever one under, people aren't trying for tricks as hard, but they really should be. Like I love going for the tricks early and then that leaves that flexibility of, do you actually uh, try and get extra tricks and set the opponents or do you just hold back and then avoid them later? But here, looking at my hand, I want every single trick I can get, so. All right, my partner's short in clubs. I can give them club roughs if I get in with the king of hearts. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty similar to those. So here they can uh, trump this cheaply. And I still don't know where my other trick is coming from, uh, <laughs> but hopefully they have another one. Ooh. I probably wouldn't have roughed in their spot either, but the fact that it stood up had me uh, curious. Hey, we got our trick. And uh, if my partner had a uh, higher spade there, they would usually 
um, take it, but I think they're trying to set them and get two bags here. No. Uh, so my partner, when they saw that I had the Jack of Spades winning, they really should have put their queen on it there uh, just to avoid that bag. Again, we're not going to reach 10 bags here most likely, uh, but it would just be slightly better play. Um, although they m maybe aren't worried about bags, so just checking in case we want to try and set them. Um, but uh, here I'll go two, because that'll get us over 400. My partner, and I've got two easy tricks. I want a bit enough that we don't, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so I wouldn't have got my two, but it's a partnership game. So even if, like, I don't need to win both of my tricks, it's combined. So. Um, even if my partner overtook it and I got one and they got, uh, I don't know how many they were going for, four, let's say, um, and we still got our combined five, then uh, we would be okay. And here, me and my partner are just going for three tricks. This looks super easy to try and get. Uh, a bit seven, but uh, yeah. Um, and now we just want to avoid six bags. Like them going seven isn't really what they should typically be doing because, well, like, they either want to stop us getting our combined three tricks, right? Which will be hard. Um, yeah, if we get six bags, we lose a hundred points. So I reckon their goal should have been to try and make us uh, get the six bags to keep the game going. Um, but uh, I totally shouldn't have pitched the Jack of Hearts there. Um, we, we still need that one extra trick. And uh, let's rough high just so if we get over roughed maybe we can no nope. all right good game we have reached 400 <laughs> yeah so and we got no chance of all the bags anymore so We are cruising. But that was a pretty cool game of spades. Um, I think uh, I really liked the sort of how to break the nil strategy. That's the few ways can we make them win like a cheap card or something. Um, but also just shortening their partner's trumps and then just creating them the long trump was a really cool strategy there. Yeah. So we won 400. 10 to the 210. No one got the bags there, but uh, pretty sweet game.